To cut down on crime among teens, one Tennessee senator is making a push at the federal level. Her solution is to expand or create after-school programs in counties where juvenile crime is the highest. It already has bipartisan support and the approval of Memphis City officials. Our Marissa Sulik explains how this could impact Nashville. What looks like an unfinished construction project will become a technology center, kitchen, and creative design place for teens. It's an addition to the Boys and Girls Club off 16th Avenue. We're actually in the process of building a teen center, which we're calling the club, so that teens will, will sound a little hipper that they're going to the club. Susanna Shoemate says this has been a long process. They have private people and foundations funding the new project, but can always use a little more. We would love to be able to expand our services. Today was the first time she heard of the After School Act. It was proposed by Senator Marsha Blackburn. If passed, it would create a grant for school districts to enhance or start after school programs. I was thrilled to learn about it. The Boys and Girls Club of Middle Tennessee would also benefit since they have programs at 10 metro schools. We know that after school and out of school time is, is a chance for vulnerable young people to be taken advantage of. The Department of Justice says 64% of teen crime takes place on school days. If the After School Act passes, it would only impact areas who have a juvenile crime rate above 10%. Nashville is one of those. That's why Shoemate hopes more money and their new teen club will help bring that number down. Then we're able to see them graduate from high school and go on to their great futures. This act has been going through Congress the last six months. If it does pass, it'll be up to the Department of Justice to provide the funding, which could take months. In Nashville, Marissa Sulek. WSMV4. Another